slides regarding, regarding this session. So I made it, let me share this with you. Right now I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, I will be sharing this with you. And when talking about coffee corner, so why do we talk about a coffee corner and what should be done in the coffee corner? Uh, when talking about a project milestone, uh, is it essential or a sine qua non? Okay, all these answers or these questions, we will find some answers and I will have from your own comments and feedback. Okay, let me start with this. Uh, okay, here, uh, this 11.03, because now the focus is mainly on 11.03, so we'll not be talking about 11.04 uh, or 5 and even 6 about this uh, module, okay? But the focus mainly will be on uh, 11.03, and this is what we do have in the blended learning, because we figure out that some of us that they didn't teach or uh, yeah, they didn't teach or are not currently teaching in the blended learning. So I made this uh, slides to make it easier, okay? With the head of the curriculum unit, Mr. Gilal. So I took some uh, material from him and I add some material and this is what we have for this meeting. And why this meeting? Because this meeting will, uh, make it easier for us to understand what's going on in the blended learning and when teaching 11 or 3 e -L -S, e -L -S, e -L -S, ELS 11 or 3 so uh, the ELS 11 or 3 or 4 are similar or alike in some cases because we are talking about uh, B1 so here we're talking about B1 an academic English course heavily reliant on the textbook uh, two separate courses Okay, because they have, uh, yeah, reading and writing and listening and speaking. But uh, we are not talking about B2, which is uh, 11.05, but just some insights about this. 11.05, B2, CEFR, okay, uh, Common European Framework of Reference, okay, ESP. Okay, when talking about the, uh, we have EAP, Okay, English for academic purpose and uh, English for specific uh, purposes. So this here, when you're talking about 1105, uh, uh, heavily reliant on students and a uh, companion, when you're talking about the uh, portfolios and uh, one course, okay, is only one, uh, the, the blue one, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So that's why we're talking about how are they different? But here, the focus mainly, again, uh, chiefly on ELS 11 or 3. And there's even 6. If you just interested, I can share this 6 with you. 11, uh, ELS 11 or uh, 6. Uh, yes, this is what we do, and I think we work on this, okay, uh, project milestone, uh, when, uh, PM, okay, explain, so we talk about this, that's why I said here, done, this phase, phase one. This phase two, okay, uh, selection of the uh, project title, and actually we did that, so, uh, just what I would like to share is uh, FYI for your information, this. 
we need this. We need to focus on this because this will guide us to the next slide. Uh, selection of the uh, project title. So we talked about this earlier. And this is what I just would like to share. So uh, the first slides, I mean, the, the very beginning of slides are very common. And we were, or we are familiar with. But look at this, uh, sources for your uh, project. We would like to get sure that students are following this. Okay, so according to the uh, rules here, uh, students should make sure that, okay, your, so whether they are using videos or audios or whatever, uh, presented by subject matter experts, uh, SMEs, okay? And when choosing a website, okay, .gov, just let us remind them, like, as gently reminding them, or gently remind about to follow this, Okay, a textbook may be borrowed from the university library or a version uh, may be used. A published journal article may be attended, okay, through the university library or even, okay, APA, MLA, when we are talking about referencing. Uh, brainstorming, we are, yes, now we not need this, but what all we need to do about focusing on these areas Okay, select two appropriate uh, sources, video contact, uh, online website, textbook, all the material they came with, they should be documented to avoid a plagiarism. Uh, that's why we are saying so. Uh, here, sorry, need to be considered and touch upon ethics. Ethics. Why? Because we, we would like to teach them not to be a uh, plagiarized or to follow a uh, plagiarism. Okay, to yes, to show them and guide them through the commenting things where you got this from. Okay, yeah, we talk about this Q cards. and uh, we are very thankful and we owe her a lot, Miss Lambi for uh, creating the cue cards, okay? And some guidelines about cue cards and evaluation. Yeah, and we are done with that. But these are again to remind that what we do have in the blended learning. So it as uh, such, okay? Don't, when making speaking notes, okay? Use follow the sheet of uh, paper as a note, write, long sentence or use a uh, small handwriting and make it look, okay? So we would like to get sure that students are aware of this. And this is what we do have uh, in the blended learning or what in uh, BLP, okay? Uh, yes, in the first virtual meeting uh, two weeks ago, I think that we show about an example of the cue card. So we are done about this state, but this is what the students have in their uh, student companion, okay, in the student uh, portfolios. And the cue card should be like this. So we just need to uh, reinforce and stress it, okay? Reinforce and stress on having cue cards. We would like to tell them that these are vitally important to have them. And this is example, okay, of a speaking note. The size, use capitalization, numbering, okay, use of images, okay. Uh, involving audience, transitions, intro, okay. Use of colors, okay. This is how it works in the blend learning. Uh, what are we looking for, okay, as evaluators? Okay, or a fake audience because we are now teachers, okay, and we are letting or in such as we are letting uh, students uh, perform in, our, in front of us or before us, but we are not the, the authentic audience because we are, uh, we are the authentic, but we would like to have more other audience, okay, because we are uh, training them, drilling, guiding them and so forth, but we need on that day, the big day, to have more audience, okay? 
and even the the I the Dell, okay, uh, the IL admin and the Dell when they come, they would like to see this, okay, a positive entrop, okay, a grating hook, yeah, we use a hook when when writing, okay, and this is essential too, but we need an eye catching phrase for sentence when our students uh, become uh, introduced or uh, present himself in terms uh, before the audience, okay? Or the uh, present himself. The earlier uh, presentation uh, pauses and thank you that uh, today, uh, Dr. Hanan, we saw on the WhatsApp group what she shared and thank you for sharing, Dr. Hanan, for sharing this uh, effort. Uh, maintain eye contact. We would like our students to just maintain eye contact. And this hole in the uh, uh, the area of the, the big umbrella of the barrier language, voice uh, projection, barrier language, fluency, okay, confidence, look natural, okay, speak the language naturally, uh, no reading, just the cue cards, okay. Uh, yes, interaction with the audience, questions to listeners, okay? This is audience involvement or, yeah. Uh, answer question concluding. Uh, interact or interact and show, don't lecture because we are not in a lecture. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hanan. Thanks a lot. Uh, this is what we are looking for as evaluators and our guests to come, okay? On that day, on the big day. Uh, not, okay, this. Grammatical structure as a farthing over a pronunciation. So some of our students are from different medically or yeah, medically, faculties, okay, or medical faculties, okay. So they have topics that you can find a lot of terms or terminologies, okay, different terminologies. So we would like to get them or have them drill this, okay, and uh, or have them just uh, practice this much more or rehearse on that, on the terms and uh, pronunciation, because as you know that, Terminologies are combination of Greek and Latin and so on, and even French words. So we need to focus on this, on both of them. And I think that's all for now. This is what I have. So uh, as I told you earlier that I will not be talking more than uh, maybe 25 or 30 minutes with the conversation, with the feedback, suggestions, questions, and so forth. And uh, thank you uh, pretty much indeed for your time, for listening to me attentively and for your, yeah, for everything, for the efforts that you are exerting. Does anybody have a question or would you like to add any comments or anything that we can share? Yes. Now we can share our ideas, communicate our thoughts, learn from each other, respect one another, get knowledge or having different ideas. Uh, this is in terms of the blended learning as well as we need to talk in, in a nutshell uh, about the coffee corner or conversation over coffee corner done. But before shedding the lights on that and before delving into it, let me have your ideas, your thoughts, okay, about this. And I, do recognize that you do have many revolutionary ideas, brilliant thoughts as well. Yes. Okay, Dr. Hanan, uh, I think that, or uh, yeah, Okay, if the topic is theoretical, like the history of, yes, they can 
match it, okay? What we have, the 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 new technology, but okay, they can add something, okay, about what what we have. If we, they are talking about the history, okay, and yeah, that's the history, okay. But what about now? They can tell us about the latest, the recent invention in chemistry, right? Uh, what if one of my students is less fluent than other colleagues in the group? That's normal, but we would like to let them be highly motivated, enthusiastic, and keen on, because if they are keen and passionate about what they are doing, actually, it makes sense. Uh, that's talk tastic, like thanks a lot, doctor. Uh, okay, I realize that she needs a uh, protracted rehearsals and what I'm doing. No, no, she will have the same Adam, okay, the same uh, percentage, okay, uh, in terms of uh, presenting the material. Uh, no, but in this case. Uh, I think I uh, working that if I'm not mistaken, uh, we we are giving them the sh same in terms of the uh, the time the time allotted or allocated for each student, but uh, I'm not that I would like to say that we should be equal or equalize them, but at the same time, we need to get sure that if she can show that how enthusiastic she is and how uh, passionate about what she can talk, definitely it can be handled. This is what I suggest. Yeah, that's great. Does anybody have, yeah, yes. More ideas? Thank you. Yes, who else? If you have any question, any suggestions, uh, yeah, anything to share, Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Does anybody have a question or do you have any idea? Uh, even what what do you think about conversation of a coffee zone? What do you think? Yes. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Does anybody have any uh, suggestion or any idea? Okay, uh, what should I clarify, Ms. al uh, What do you mean by clarification here? Or what should I clarify? Okay, and in essence, yeah, okay, uh, yes, over, conversation over coffee corner, about the coffee uh, corner, wonderful. Okay, uh, the coffee corner uh, is free coffee, okay, for uh, our guests and our students as well. And we need to think about having them 
having discussion or dialogue, but here is conversation because uh, dialogue is two. So they are more than two. We need to have them and train them. Nowadays, are we going to embody uh, that in that? Yes, yes. And we will, it is it's really entitled to us and uh, English, English club society. So this is a part of our job that, and it's really entitled to us that we'll be dealing with that. So uh, as you can see that, let me share this with you. Are we going to, okay, what else? Yeah, uh, about the coffee corner, and uh, are we going to embody that in that day? Yes, we are going to do that, uh, Ms. Rima. So now we are focusing on selecting students from both male and female side, from your side and uh, our side. So uh, is it question work for selected students? Now, it's not as a matter of extra work, um, it's uh, but it's as a matter of what? As a matter of having some students doing certain job and the others, uh, not all of them, okay? We're gonna train some of them. Uh, some of those who were selected will be working with them, okay? We need to train them during this week if it's uh, possible. Okay, and then we would like to have them talk. So we are going to give them some topics, okay? Here, as far as I know, or as far as I'm concerned that there are four, co four coffee tables. So we need at least four students, okay? And we will be training them, giving them some uh, topic. These are already made. And we do have them. We do have them. Okay. So we can guide them through this, instruct them through uh, how they are going to have a conversation and so forth. It's not that uh, we're not going to impose on them, but this is some of the things that we would like them to do. And those who are eloquent, those who are uh, having a presentable voice, as well as those who are charismatic. So uh, the selection criteria will be uh, according to your own intuition. Uh, yes, that, that's great. That's great. Uh, when, when talking about, uh, yes, how are we going to train them to get the students involved uh, or involved their audience, and this is what we know, what, what, what we need, okay? Uh, and this is called how to attract the audience, okay? I think the uh, attraction laws, so it means uh, that how to get them engaged, okay? And how are we going to steer the conversation with them, okay? In terms of the conversation, in terms of the coffee corner, or in terms of uh, the, the, the whole rehearsals that we're doing. I'm doing so, that's great. That's great, uh, Ms. Freema. What a wonderful job. Yes, does anybody have any idea, anything to share? Sharing is caring. Yeah, any question to ask? Any comment? Any idea to add? What kind of conversation do they need to discuss? Yeah, uh, we will be selecting this, okay? So we have lists of topics, okay? We'll be selecting uh, according to the criteria that we made at the very, very beginning when talking about the titles, okay? So we do have some topics which are already made. We will just guide them through them, instruct them that they will be aware of them and to stay away from uh, politics, religion, okay, or religious issues, as well as cultural sensitive topics. And these are already made. 
uh, topics. So we will guide them uh, at least about three to five, as you can see here. Okay, let me show you. Where are they? Uh, I think that they are here. Yeah. Uh, and the one that I shared with you, if you do recall, in the WhatsApp group. So here, this is what we are going to be talking about. This one and this one. So from uh, three to five minutes only. But the evidence, uh, does not belong to us because it's all about the uh, uh, curriculum unit here. It should be the uh, portfolios, okay? The interview corner, medical students, I think that if not mistaken and so forth. But these are our concern right now. So uh, yes, anything else or anything to add, to share? Yes, uh, yes, guys, come on. Okay, uh, do we still have the, yeah, yeah, this is our day, this is a sign day, uh, yeah, 31st uh, of May, yes, Dr. Reim, or Ms. Uh, Reim is, yeah, yes, this is what we do have. Uh, we would like to to do our best because there's only 10 days left, but we will try to do our best and get the best out. And we are capable of that. Aren't we? We try. That's great. That's great. Inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> we learn to the max, definitely. <laughs> That's great. That's... We need to unleash. This is what I've learned from the uh, the so-called uh, human uh, HRD and HRM uh, to unleash your uh, potential. So it's high time to unleash our uh, potentials as well as our students. What do you think? Come again. Uh, sorry, Miss Lima. Uh, yeah, uh, this is what I've learned from those who are working in the uh, public speech and the soft skills. In other words, like uh, Les Brown and Tony Robbins and Zig Ziglar. They always say that, or they have tendency, they, they, they do have tendency saying this, uh, it's high time to unleash, unleash, as if you have a dog, so you are unleashing this, but here has something to do with the uh, collocation, to unleash our uh, potential. So we have a lot to get it out, to get 
the best out of us and from our citizens as well. So it's high time to unleash, unleash our uh, potentials. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't like to give you more than that. So if uh, there's any question or uh, the any suggestion or feedback, uh, it's okay. Uh, if not, let us up and just wind up here and see you soon, inshallah. Uh, does anybody have anything or any idea to share or, yeah? Uh, you are warmly welcome, uh, Miss uh, Dr. Hanan. Recollect, <laughs> best of luck. Yeah, best of luck, all of us. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, thank you, Miss Al Ramdi. Thank you. Uh, thank you all. Uh, and thanks, thanks is not quite enough because you, um, yes, this from your time from uh at this time to come and attend this uh, virtual meeting. So I'm very grateful and um, very thankful for you, for all of you, uh, wish everyone wonderful. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, have a wonderful uh, night, blissful. Okay. Uh, a night without nightmares, inshallah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We are, yeah, setting the best. Definitely. You are, Wallahi. And we are uh, as a team. Together, everyone achieves more. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you again. Uh, see you, inshallah, soon on the, that big day, okay? And uh, it will be our day. Yeah, summed up. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Have a blessed night. Uh, in French, a night without Kushmar. <laughs>